the story I think that best illustrates what leadership means to me is a story about service. I really want people to understand that leadership is about service and serving people. So I'll tell a story. Um, I'm in retail, and retail during the holidays can get very hectic and very stressful. Um, that's because there's high expectations on making a lot of customers happy, which leads to big sales. So we do these events, you know, we get together all of these amazing products that we think are really going to be exciting to the Walmart customers, and we really do a lot of hard work in advance. Are these products good enough? Are we going to sell enough of these? Are the customers going to love them? Are we priced the best in the market? We do a bunch of financial reviews. We work really, really hard to give ourselves the best chance of delivering results. And then it all comes down to execution. And everyone's tired, everyone's stressed, a lot of hard work. So um, one day in particular, it's about 7.30 at night, I'm ready to go home, it's been a long day, I wanna go home and see my family. And I walk out, and I walk out past one of my um, favorite associates, and uh, he's in charge of delivering the campaign, executing it in the digital world. And he looks really stressed out. And I'm like, how's it going? He's like, well, we've got some problems here, we're working through it, it's okay, it's good night. And I said to myself, you know, I'm not, I'm not leaving. Um, I'm just going to stay here in case we need to make a call if things don't get executed. I'm just going to stay here and I'm going to be with you guys. And so there wasn't a lot of value that I could add, quite honestly. Um, they were doing some stuff that was pretty technical. So I actually you know, said, how can I add value to my team right now? Um, I'll go across the street and get them some snacks. So I came back and it really was a story about an associate, you know, after all of this preparation, right, this associate is struggling to get something done. And it was about me having solidarity and just being there until it got finished. Um, I very much could have gone home, um, but I wanted to be there as a show of solidarity and teamwork. Um, and to let them know how much I respected their work. So it was stressful. We got the, we got the, the assets live about an hour later than we had planned to, but it all went off, um, not without a hitch, a lot of hard work, a lot of sweat. And so I tell that story um, mainly because about a year and a half later when I left that role, people did this really nice memento scrapbook thing for me. And this associate in particular had, I'd been working with for probably seven years. I'd given him so much great advice, like really good, solid advice. And what he wrote in the memento was about that night when I stayed. And so what that taught me is, is that people don't really remember as much of what you say, but they definitely remember how you make them feel. And so as a leader, it really is about service and you are there serving your people. And I just know that I made him feel like I respected his work, that I cared about the result, and that I would you know, make my sacrifice the same way that he was making his sacrifice. So just the fact that he remembered that after all of the, I mean, I've given him some really good, frank, hard-hitting business advice, but how I made him feel is really what he remembered and what he chose to highlight back to me.